We want to prove here that the given expression on the left side of the equation is equal to 2 raised to the nth power. So the first thing to notice here is that this is the sum of precisely binomial coefficients. n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus all the way until the one before last term, n choose n minus 1 plus n choose n. This is the sum of the binomial coefficients, and we want to show that the sum of the binomial coefficients is equal to 2 raised to the nth power. And binomial coefficients should come to you handy in recognizing that we're talking about using the binomial theorem. Notice that 2 to the n can be expressed as a sum of two numbers, two whole numbers. So we know that the sum of two whole numbers, a plus b raised to the nth power, will give you the sum of binomial coefficients if you use the summation formula dictated by the binomial theorem from i is equal to 0 to the n and choose i times a raised to the power n minus i times b raised to the power of i. Okay, So using this formula we can transform the right side of this equation, so 2 to the n, we can transform using this formula successfully into the left side that shows the sum of the binomial coefficients. So let's see, so 2 to the nth power, how do we express it as a plus b? So we can split, split up the 2 into 1 plus 1 raised to the nth power. And there you go, now 1 is, uh, a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1. Right, so we can express this from i is equal to 0 to n, as n choose i, and instead of a, we're going to have 1 raised to the n minus i, and instead of b, we're going to have another 1 raised to the i. Okay? And now we can express that as, starting from the 0 for the i, for the first i equal to 0, so we're going to have n choose 0, 1, to the n minus 0, because i is equal to 0, so it's just n, okay, and, well, I, I will just write it like that, so just, so you know what I'm substituting, and then another 1 by i is 0, so to the 0, plus another one, the next one is going to be n choose 1, because that's the next i, right, we're going in whole numbers, counting numbers, n choose 1, and then 1 raised to the n minus 1 times 1 to the first power, etc. Until the very last two terms. The, la the very last two terms will be what? It will be n, choose n minus 1. Okay, and then we're going to have 1 to the n minus n minus 1, right? n minus n minus 1, right? And then another one by n minus 1, right? n minus 1. And then the last term will be what? It will be n choose n, of course. That's when the i will reach the n. So n choose n. And then 1 times n minus n, right? The top minus the bottom, times 1 to the raised to the bottom only, right? So what is that equal to? Notice n choose 0 is 1, so that's 1. n, uh, 1 raised to the nth power is still 1, n minus 0 is n, 1 raised to the n is still 1. And then 1 to the 0 power is still 1 as well. And then we're going to have n choose 1, right, n choose 1. And by the way, I want to leave... I want to leave n choose 0 the way it is, because that's what we want to show on the left side. So I'm going to just write n choose 0. I'm going to leave it as it is. Even though I know n choose 0 is 1, but I'm just going to leave it as it is for the sake of showing the left side of this uh, equation that we need to use for proof. So that's that. And then n choose 1 is going to be what? n choose 1. 1 to the n minus 1 is still 1. 1 to the 1 is still 1 etc. until we get n to the n minus 1, n choose n minus 1, everything else is 1, right? 1 raised to pretty much any, <laughs> any whole number is still 1, that doesn't change, this is still 1. 
and then the last term is n choose n and again 1 to the 0 is still 1 1 to the n is still 1 so what do we get as a result we get n choose 0 plus n choose 1 until we get to the last two terms n choose n minus 1 plus n choose n so we've successfully showed that these two sides are indeed equal. We just started from the right side and showed that the right side is equal to the left side. Right? So we showed that this is indeed equal to this. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.